Monday, um, Anna Silk announced on Twitter that, through a video, that season five of Lost Girl is going to be the final season of Lost Girl. And that actually made me really sad. Um, I know that I've had a lot of anger and rants about Lost Girl, but I do very much have a special place in my heart for this show that when it's gone I'll miss it I really will and I think that Bo has been such a huge part of that you know she's one of the few LGBT protagonists on television right now who is the lead completely and utterly and not on a show that's just you know built for only a queer audience and that's so important to me and you know her relationship with Lauren is one of the most dynamic relationships and I don't mean that dynamic is the best I mean that it's treated in the same breath I feel as other relationships between a human and a paranormal that have been between you know um, heterosexual couples and while I feel like it has definitely lacked in the T and G department I think in terms of L and B it has done a really good job I mean Bo has never been shamed for her bisexuality in the show and when people do try to shame her they're treated badly for it and I appreciate that and I think that Bo herself even though Bo is not my favorite character um my favorite characters are Lauren Kenzie and Hale rest in peace um despite Bo's stupidity I'll put it like that and me disagreeing with the choices that she does make why I have never hated Bo is because of the the first episode um and in that first episode, which I believe is called the Fei Fei World, just at all, we you know, would be able to know this better than I do. Um, Bo saves Kenzie from sexual assault, even though using her powers would put her at great risk and it makes her have to start kind of packing and leaving this life and uprooting herself. She does it. And there is never a moment where she shames Kenzie for almost being assaulted she never treats Kenzie like a lesser person and that was so impactful and it taught me something about Bo from that episode on that for as stupid and as idiotic as she can sometimes be because by god is she in some other later seasons she is fundamentally a good person and that is so rare for protagonists these days because she's inherently a happy nice caring person she dumb she dumb but she's a good person and she will protect the weak especially weak women and i think that that's just so important and that's why later seasons when they would do things that were sort of sexist and not very girl friendly i would be so mad because lost girls started it started with this idea of women looking out for women and started off with a protagonist who was sexually who was who had a great sense of her sexuality without having to feel guilty about that and having part of that getting over her I think in episode season three when Bo goes home and you have that scene with her mother it's so powerful because it's so real that idea of feeling isolated and alone because of who you are and how you feel about yourself and you know you see you grow up in this rural town you can only imagine being bisexual growing up in that kind of environment and not already not knowing who you are and feeling confused and then you find out that you eat people when you have sex with them I mean that's very awkward I'm, I'm guessing puberty is really bad as it is so watching Bo's journey for all the rough patches especially season four I mean by god season four it still makes me sad it's gonna be leaving and I'll miss that and so I hope I hope that in season five they will end Bo's journey in a way that is respectful and deserving of that character we met in the first episode who saved Kenzie risking her safety for it and her security for it without shaming anyone and who started off the season helping the innocent and trying to find out who she was and trying to find her place in the world and I hope that she finds it and stays at her core that good person and so 
I would love that to happen. That's what I want for season five. I want season five to be a tribute to that bow. And not the bow in season four who was doing dumb shit, not getting called out for it in a meaningful way, not making smart choices, thinking too rashly. I want Bo to have grown up and be that smart person I know she can be. And even though I'm docubus, I love Lauren. Don't understand Lauren haters. I mean, I do, but I, fun, I, I, I do in my analytical way, but as me, love Lauren. And although I want her to ride into the moonlight with Lauren, at the end of the day, I don't care about that. I want her to be with the person who makes her happy. I want her to be with the person she chooses. And if that's just Kenzie, I'll be happy with that too. Um, and if you could bring back Hale, that would be great, okay? Because I still have not forgotten you, Lost Girl, and your problems with race. But I already said that we're the doll. And another podcast, I'm not going to get into this right now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling generous. But I know they can do it. Because they did it in season one was really solid season two has a little mix up because you had too many episodes you got a little crazy there but overall it was a good fun season season three season four you got a little bit too much try to do too much just just remember at your core you are a campy show about a succubus who is a sweet kind-hearted person who's trying to redeem herself from past wrongs and find her place in the world so I will be looking forward to Lost Girl Season 5 and I hope that it gives us the ending that the fans deserve because Lost Girl fans love Lost Girl and I put up with a lot of stuff with Lost Girl, good and the bad. And I really, really hope that that feeling I had when I first watched the show is there when I stop watching it. And I think it can happen. I really honestly do because I think that Lost Girl is a kind of show that can, you know, it, it, it's a sci-fi show. It can whip back to what it was before. It doesn't have to stay in this one place. You know, even Buffy has season four. We must all, and season seven. God knows. We have to remember that. Even the best have had their fuck-ups. We still love them. So, season five? Let's do it. Hope it's good. And even if it's not perfect, you know what? I'll watch it because love Bo. I love Kenzie. I love Lauren. I like Tamsin. I tolerate Dyson. I hope that Trick dies. Bring bring Hell back. Bring Hell back to life. Please. You're a fun show. You don't need to kill people. Just bring them back. It's okay. Even if it's just at the end. So you can be with Kenzie in the dark.